has come a long way since collapsing in 2008 when the U.S. financial crisis peaked and millions of homeowners owed more money to lenders than their homes were worth and foreclosures hit a record. But nearly seven years later, many of the people who lost their homes can now get back into the market. CCTV's Mei Li explains. It was a common sight across the country. Foreclosed homes sold at auction at rock bottom prices. The U.S. housing market crash from 2007 to 2009 wiped out nearly $6 trillion in home value, which led to more than 5 million families losing their homes to foreclosure. Malcolm Davies was hit exceptionally hard by the crisis. He had several multi million dollar development projects that all came to a crashing halt. And I was stuck really at the end of the day trying to resolve um, projects that had no liquidity in the market. And it was impossible to get through. Um, and it just was, it depleted all of my finances. I had obligations that were much higher than I could ever repay. Um, and quite frankly, it put me in a personal bankruptcy. I was, I was decimated in 2009. Malcolm declared a $55 million bankruptcy, losing everything he and his young family had. In the six years since, he's worked to reestablish his credit and career, which has made him eligible once again to get a mortgage. And Malcolm is not alone. According to credit score company Fair Isaac Corp, nearly 650,000 people who foreclosed between 2007 and 2008 will have the event wiped off their records by the end of this year. John Maddox, co-founder of AfterForeclosure.com, specializes in securing loans for post-foreclosure home buyers. I mean, a lot of people, they had, unfortunately, they had a job loss or something that happened with the economic crisis that related to a foreclosure. So a lot of those people have recovered now. They've got a new, they've got a new job. Their job's doing well. They're making money. They're able to save money. They've learned some lessons from the crisis. Which is why mortgage brokers like John Maddox believe this time it will be different. Requirements for post foreclosure clients are a lot stiffer now. For example, a 20 to 30 percent deposit is required. Also, six to 12 months of cash reserves. And of course, a steady income. Very different from the days when the motto was no assets, no income, no problem. Malcolm Davies was able to meet all conditions, and though his record costs him a higher interest rate on his mortgage, he is now a proud homeowner once again. When you look at this house right now, can you believe it's yours? No, not at all. After everything you've been no, through? No, not at all. It's uh, definitely still a dream. A dream come true after living through a long and difficult nightmare. May Lee, CCTV, Los Angeles.